Hello, I am Ángel Hernández García from Universidad Politécnica de Madrid and I'm going to present the research study a revision of LMS interaction classification for learning analytics developed jointly with my colleagues Carlos Cuenca Enrique, Uchendo Nuachuku and Laura del Rio Caraz. The main motivation of our study is that <coughs> descriptive and predictive learning analytics generally share lots of similarities but also many differences. The general shortcoming of research on descriptive and predictive analytics is the lack of connection between both. That is, descriptive analytics is based on the collection of interaction data from students without a clear definition of what exact variables or fields in the database might be of interest. However, the choice of other variables seems to a certain degree arbitrary and determined by the data available to the research in the system logs. Research on learning analytics has sought to establish a link between theories from educational research and the application of technology and learning analytics techniques to educational processes. But so far, in the study of interactions between students and their learning management systems, we lack a comprehensive categorization that allows us to perform right learning analytics techniques. Prior research of interactions in learning management systems she uses two very different approaches. One that is data driven and can consider like black box modeling based on the use of machine learning algorithms. And another approach would be theory grounded approaches, which behave more like white box models and are based on preset classifications of interactions. If we focus on these preset classifications, we can find very, very different categorizations. For example, in Moodle interactions, we have predefined classifications of interactions that's teaching, participating, and other, which is somewhat redu uh, reductionist. Also, we can find a distinction between active and passive interactions, and also different approaches based on Moore's categories. However, there's not much research on models that reflect how students work during their study sessions in an LMS. And these models generally take the form of learning cycle, and that's what we're going to explore in this study. Our literature review shows different learning cycle models that can be adapted for the study of interactions in learning management systems for learning analytics, upon which we have created a new model called the learning cycle interaction classification, which is below on this table. The nature of this model is sequential and allows for feedback loops. In our learning cycle interaction classification, we can find six different components. First, engagement interactions will represent learning clicks with low educational value that, however, denotes student activity and engagement with the learning management system, such as login or browsing a course. Content refers to accessing course content that helps in the conceptualization, knowledge, and learning stage, like reading course materials. Knowledge validation or application refers to students performing assessment activities, such as completing a quiz or an essay. Knowledge creation or dialogue and sharing reflects any contribution of students that may be seen by others, like posting in a message board. Track review refers to activities in which students can observe the current state of their learning process and reflect on information, such as checking their grades and receiving feedback from the instructors. Learning process management includes the actions that can be performed to better manage the learning process. To test and validate our model, we collected data from a course in Moodle and we used in Dash, a Moodle plugin and external web application that facilitates the collection processing and user-defined categorization of data from Moodle logs for learning analytics, while also providing a visual representation of the results to the users through an interactive dashboard. According to our analysis, students with the lowest performance tended to also rank low in application interaction, and students with the highest performance tended to rank high in application learning process management interactions. The results were mixed in terms of content and, and track review interactions, and surprisingly, most of the worst performing students tended, tended to rank high in engagement interactions. To wrap it up, we propose a new classification of LMS interactions for learning analytics, we visualized and analyzed those interactions with the tool called INDAS. We got very little insight because we only use data from one course, so we need further validation of the model, and we also detected the need for further interactivity and richer information in INDAS. 
that's it thank you very much